Hi, Liz Ness here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make three kind of fast uh, corrections for your photos. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, recolor some things. So we need to set up our recoloring tool. What we need to do is go to our wrench and then to preferences and then to, uh, let's see, where is it? Uh, gesture, gesture controls. <laughs> and then we need to make sure that quick menu is on and I have it on and I use it I use a little tap uh, symbol so when it's on we can tap done and then when you go here you can tap that's where mine is set up and you have all these different little options little menus and you can tap and hold it then you can do all you can select from all of these different options and that is where recolor is now right there so with recolor selected you're going to look at this little arrow and the first thing I'm going to do is kind of change the color of the shadows to something that's a little bit more blue. So I'm going to aim my little cursor, the little crosshairs right there. And then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to uh, select a blue that's, you know, darker. Um, here, actually, I want to bring this over just a bit. Okay, so I can see what's going on right there. And I want to give it a richer blue color but I just want to play with the shadows really um, and that looks pretty good so um, the other thing I can do is uh, play with this little flood setting and just see how much it's affecting it and I don't really want the color to flood everything I just want to really kind of focus on the shadow area and that looks pretty good I just want to see what let's see if I bring down the flood just a little bit more okay and I don't want the shadows to be black I want them to be blue so more of a painterly color rather than the black of the photo itself okay so that actually looks pretty good so I'm gonna go ahead and tap out and then I'm gonna do it again and this time I'm gonna go for the highlights and I want to bring some yellow into uh, this old paper here I love this science gossip it kind of cracks me up I keep wondering like what what do scientists gossip about <laughs> Okay, so obviously I don't want it to be blue, but that's where the cursor goes. And then I'm thinking more of like a yellow and a really light yellow color. Okay, and I'm going to play with flood just a little bit, probably a little bit more, because I want to bring some of these other colors in, or, yeah, to the same. So, okay, I want it to, I want to make it more of a highlight. So I want yellow, but I still want it close to like white yellow. So that looks good. That gives me a lot of contrast already. So I like that, and I like the level of flooding, so I'm going to go ahead and tap out again. Okay, now I'm going to just look at this. Okay, it's side by side. This is my reference. Okay, and it's, you can sort of see there's a little bit more blue, like there's more, there's more volume in that blue, and it's hard to tell here, but there's a little bit more of a, of a yellow uh, cast for the highlights. But the next thing I need to do is really adjust the overall lighting for the shadows and midtones and uh, highlights. So what I'm going to do next is go into uh, the adjustments and I'm going to select um, curves here and for the whole layer. Now I want gamma selected and I'm just going to start pumping it up in the middle here and just see what happens. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm going to bring this over to where the curve starts going up and not any further. Uh, let's see, right about there. Okay, and I want to see what happens here if I bring it in just a bit. That's about right. That's where the curve starts bouncing, so I really should leave that alone. Okay, so let's see. Okay, now that looks pretty rich. I, I like that quite a bit. Again, kind of moving it over so it's lined up with where the curve starts to go up and then sort of pulling it up in the midtones so that these midtones lighten up, they brighten up a bit. And as you can see, like the color here is a far richer blue and, 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 and the flowers are showing up a little bit better now too. And you can sort of see there's something going on behind it, whereas over here it's pretty hidden because it's so dark and black. Okay, so that looks pretty good, so I'm just going to tap out. And then the last thing I want to do is um, sort of help our eye go to where I want the eye to go. So our eyes are really drawn by the bright objects. So we've got some brightness right here, and then we have a couple bright dots in here. So I'm going to use the clone tool for that. 
So again, the adjustments layer here and clone. And then you just take this little, um, this little guy right here and you uh, put him in something that is close to what you want and you can just start painting. Oh, actually I should double check here. Oh good, I do have the mono line selected and uh, fairly small, so that's pretty good. Okay, you don't want it to be too much bigger than the area that you're actually uh, cloning over. And then, let's see, I'm gonna bring this up so it's a little bit more like the area that I'm gonna take this little dot out. And so, just that. Okay, now I'm gonna go over here, and this is a little trickier because you're on glass. So the first one I think I'm gonna do here is come right up here where the leaf, is. actually maybe put the put it even on a leaf like right here and see what happens if I go in there. Okay, that looks like it's a leaf. I wouldn't notice that. And now this other part, I think I'm actually gonna go up here to where the stem is and kind of make a little stem. So that wasn't probably enough. There, that actually looks like it's just dark in there. So that actually does a pretty good job. I don't think I wanna mess with that little part right there even though it's pretty bright. Um, uh, simply because I feel like uh, that's, you know, I do expect it there and it's also a lot dimmer and not quite as a big of a space. Um, so it doesn't catch my eye quite as much. So that's, that's very quickly some changes that you can make to your photo inside of Procreate that really kind of elevates it and makes it look much richer. I mean, like I said, this is just a snapshot I took at night with my iPhone. And those three quick um, adjustments really brought out some beauty in this particular photo. If you've enjoyed this video, please be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell so you're notified when new videos become available. Meanwhile, I hope your day is amazing.